Blair, Elijah is going to call back. It has nothing to do with anything that you said. No. Look, he's going to call back soon because all the man cares about is the money. Now, just remember that I've got all the resources in the city working on this. We've got the FBI. There's an Amber Alert. <sighs> Darling, uh, someone's at the door. Uh, uh, courage, chérie. Stay strong. <sighs> Just a moment! Oh, it's you. Please, uh, come in. Thank you. Pardon me for asking, but, oh, what happened? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I had a, a skin cancer removed. I'm fine. How are you holding up? Well, all I want is for my girls to be home and safe and, and, of course, to have that psycho get what he deserves. Doreen, is there anything I can do for you? Yes, you can stop looking at me with so much concern and pity. Unless, of course, you would like me to look at you with concern and pity because Echo de Savoy is back in town. So you know people here? I know a lot of people, including the mayor. In fact, I just took a whole series of photographs for Dorian and her family. Echo showed up here this morning with her camera, practically pushed her way through the door, and said that she could help find Star and Hope and Danielle. And how exactly was that supposed to work? By putting our family's grief on display. Heavens yes, according to Echo, she could take photographs that would personalize the crisis and magically produce leads that would lead to the girl's safe return. I'll bet she gave you a good bargain price for those photos, too. She's a vulture. Dorian, she needs money. Don't tell me Echo had the nerve to hit you up for money, too. Oh, I think I was actually her first stop in Landview. Yes, she wanted a job at the Banner. Oh, yes, that's now part of her story. You turned her down, and, oh, you're going to be sorry for that. She actually said that? Mm -hmm. My God, what nerve! Nerve? No, if I hadn't threatened to have her arrested, she'd still be here in this living room, snapping away. What? I just seem to remember that you and Echo were great friends. I most certainly was not Echo de Savoy's friend. You gave her a very warm welcome. We all did. Yeah, well, some more than others. I would hardly be one to defend Clint. However, Echo did come after him with everything that she had, but that does not excuse his betrayal of you. Well, I'm very glad to hear you say that now, because way back then, you enjoyed it. You just loved the fact that Clint cheated on me, and you were quite ready to send him to jail for murder. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I just simply told the truth as I saw it. I really did believe that I saw Clint push Echo off that bridge to her death. Who knew the woman had gills? Still can't believe she survived. <gasps> or that she'd end up coming back. Again. Oh. Once again, coming after your husband. Clint? No, not Clint. Charlie. Chuckles, she yeah, calls him. Right. Watch out, Vicky. She is already trying to convince people that the two of them had a relationship. Well, yes, I'm afraid that part is true. Really? Yeah. It was many, many years ago. Uh, Charlie was still drinking and and now she's come here to lay claim to him well maybe in her mind vicky i promise you something if echo makes one move to stir up trouble for you she's going to have to answer to me first i certainly appreciate it uh, but actually i am keeping an eye on echo i've hired rex balsam to find out just exactly what she's up to oh well, I'm certainly glad you didn't let your faith in humanity stand in the way. But, Rex, what has he found out? Actually, something rather interesting. You remember that the judge told Echo she was never, ever to come back to Landview? Well, apparently she did, less than a year after Clint's trial. Really? Mm-hmm. 
Rex found a record of a speeding ticket that she got here, which proves it. <laughs> An echo swore to me this was her first time back in Landview. What difference does it make if Echo came back to Landview and drove too fast? As you so kindly pointed out, it was a hundred years ago. Did you see her when she came back? Who wants to know? Echo lied to you. What a shock. Mm. Why do you suppose she came back? That we don't know yet. Mm. Well, it doesn't really matter. We know why she's come back now. She's here to cause trouble for you and Charlie. She can try, but I'm telling you, there is nothing, nothing that woman can do to hurt Charlie and me. Vicky hired me. She wants to know what Echo's doing here. I knew that. What have you found? I already told you. That's it. A speeding ticket from 20 years ago, that's it? Oh, awesome. Don't quit your day job. This is my day job. So you're not at all worried a woman who set you up for murders back in town? No, my people have got a very close eye on Echo. Frankly, to be honest, that woman is the least of my troubles these days. You take good care of yourself. I do understand, and um, I thank you, Bo. Just please, please find my girls. You have no idea what it's like every time that phone rings. It is just awful to think of what those girls are going through, Dorian, and how incredibly worried you must be. I uh, promise you, um, I'm going to let you know as soon as uh, I found out anything about why Echo de Savoy is back in town. Dorian, that's not why I'm here. Look, I knew it would be bad with the girls missing, but I didn't realize you'd be all alone. I am not alone. Can, can you just stop for a moment? Stop. Yes. Well, then it's just you and me, Dorian. You do not need to put up a brave front for me. Vicky, let me show you to the door. I thank you so much for coming over. And I promise you that as soon as I hear anything about the girls, that I'll let you know ASAP. Okay. But please... If you need me, please call. Thank you. 